Hello everyone, you're on the Revental channel, and today I'm gonna show you how to create these realistic animated plants in Eevee using Sapling Tree add-on. It's actually very simple, so let's do it. First of all, we have to be sure that Sapling Tree add-on was activated. For that, we have to go Edit, Preferences, Add-on, and search Sapling Tree add-on, and activate it. Of course, we delete default cube, press Shift A, go to the curve section, where you will see new type of object, sapling tree generator. And if you choose it, you immediately get some kind of tree. Also in the right corner, you can notice some window. It is settings of this tree. One thing that you have to remember, that this window immediately disappeared if you select any object in the scene, even if you select your tree, or even if you select this button. You see, it's very annoying, but that's how this add-on works. So let's send this tree to the hell, or just delete it, and let's try again. Now we see a lot of settings, but in my case, I left all these settings by default. Now we want to animate our tree, but before that, we have to add armature. For that, we just change geometry mode to armature mode and click this checkbox Use Armature. As you see, armature was added to our tree, these black lines, I mean. Now we still haven't animation so for that we have to change armature mode to animate and click this checkbox armature animation now if we press play we notice that we have animation and it is very interesting and realistic there are several settings in this section but the most important i think it's overall wind strange this setting make the strange of wind effect more or less. Other settings just give more variation to your wind effect. Now we have animation, but we still have not leaves. So we go to the leaves section and click in this checkbox, show leaves. Now we have quite realistic shape of tree. So what the next step? Let's delete default light source and let's apply some HDRI. Go to the world settings, choose environment texture and choose HDRI texture. Let's switch to the EV. Now we can see our HDRI in the scene. And now let's apply material to our tree. Go to the node editor, select our tree. If you notice, we select only leaves because leaves and trunk, it is two separate objects. So we have to add two materials or we can, of course, uh, create materials for leaves. And after that, duplicate it and apply to trunk. Just change color to green. Then select trunk and choose the same material. For the more realistic result, we have to add some translucency effect. For that we create translucency and mix node. And mix translucency and BSDF without any factors. Translucency have to be above principal BSDF. And let's decrease mix factor. No, translucency have to be under principal BSDF. And let's uh, decrease factor value to 0 .0 0 0.1. The very important moment in this case is the render settings. In Eevee, we must to activate ambient occlusion. 
and let's increase distance to to 0 0.5 now we have to add new source of light uh, the most interesting source of light in this case it is sun lamp so we press shift a choose sun lamp let's change the angle a little bit let's move it above our tree and let's increase the strange to 10. as you see our plants looks now very very realistic because we have translucence we have ambient occlusion space reflection and we have sun shadows if you remember in the video what i show you i have many trees many plants i just duplicated it but i had some issue because if we just selected our tree and try to duplicate it you notice that you duplicate only leaves or only trunk to duplicate entire tree you have to go to outliner and choose select hierarchy now we can press shift d and duplicate entire tree now i recommend you to rotate some tree or scale it up or scale it down because if you don't make it your tree will have the same move and it looks not very good thank you for watching sorry if i said something incorrect in english this is my first speech in english please subscribe and i hope this tutorial was useful for you see you later